HM here. In this video I'm going to show you how to clean a copper pan and two copper pots. It's very easy. All you need is a toothbrush, I know it sounds ridiculous, some vinegar and some salt. And no, it does not need to be kosher salt. I don't know why every cooking guy who's an American always say kosher salt. In Europe we don't really have this kosher salt you have. We just have salt and it works just as well. And then you need this steel sponge. So let's get to it. I have over here I have a pot. You can see it's a copper pot. It has stainless steel sheet on the inside. Then it has copper on the outside and also copper in the bottom. But it's behind the stainless steel and there's another stainless steel on the bottom here so it lasts long. It's a really well built pan. It's also lightweight and it's beautiful as you can see. I think this copper is quite beautiful. But now it has been used for a week or something and it could be a little bit better. And I'll show you here how to clean this one. So we start with that one. All we need to do here is, here I should probably use some gloves. Now I pour some vinegar into the sponge inside this steel thing. And then I pour lots of salt on top. And here we go. Now take a look at this. How fast this will remove everything. Can you see it? It's instant instantly removes all the stuff here. It's it's crazy. I can hardly believe it myself when I watch it. It's so effective and it's done with a pretty benign stuff here, vinegar and kitchen salt. I mean, how easy is this? So it looks like this naturally and then now it looks like this. Man. So let's do the same thing here with this one. The reaction is a little bit slower. Let's give it a little more vinegar. And also a little more salt. And also these are non-toxic compounds that are affordable. Here we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's so crazy. It's pure joy to see. It's as fast to do this as it is to clean with the soap and water. Um, but of course then we have to go in the middle here. A little more complicated. And now you can understand where my toothbrush comes in. Because we have to use that to get to these corners here. Let me take that out. That's what I do here. Just use this one and get all around. The only tough spot to clean. It's very satisfactory to see this, I think. For me it is how easy this is. Um, here we go. And that one over here, let's give that also with the toothbrush first with that one in the middle do as much as we can with this sponge. Also I'll take it on, this, on the rim here, just take it all the way around to have that cleaned. Anyway, last thing, get the toothbrush working on this. And of course I don't brush my teeth with this toothbrush, it's here for only for this. Uh, I should say something about copper. Copper is toxic, it's highly toxic. And that's why I kind of regret that I bought these pots and pans in copper. But I did it 25 years ago. It, you can't break this stuff. And now that I bought it, well, I've kept it. And now I, that I'm going to make this YouTube channel with food, well, it doesn't look bad with copper, it actually looks quite amazing. So that's what it is. Now this is, is good. Uh, the toxic part there is when the copper falls off, it, it, it uh, forms copper oxide. That's toxic. Also I want to tell you a little bit about the chemical process. We just uh, clean it here with water. And if anything dropped into part here, we also clean that off. Um, what can I say? 
I dry it off with my kitchen towel here on the inside. I do not use my kitchen kitchen towel on this cover because it is toxic and I don't want my kitchen towel to be impregnated with this toxic cover. So I don't touch it. But this one is stainless steel so I can touch that. So what I do is I use a paper towel here to clean the cover just to finish off this cleaning of this cover thing here. We need to get the water off because the water will create marks when it dries up. It will create marks that doesn't look great. So you need to, to clean that off as well. But man, if this doesn't look great, I mean, it's fantastic. I should say I haven't, uh, it's just because I use this YouTube channel, then I th thought about what would it take for Gordon Ramsay, the Michelin star chef, to approve my kitchen. And um, then I looked at my pots and pans and he wouldn't have approved of that. So I thought, now you need to clean that up to perfection. I think he can approve this. Uh, for comparison, over here we have a copper tube and you can see it's all brown. That is how your copper pots and pans will look after just three weeks of use. Then they will be brown and boring like this. So you need to do this, you need to do this uh, like once a week. But it's not that it takes a whole lot of time. Now I have another copper pan here. You can almost not see that it's copper because it's so different. And I've been using this for like a week. And it's beginning to be brown here. Up here it has some other colors, yellow and, and, and other colors that are not looking bad. But still, it does look a little bit better when you have this. I could show you how I would clean this. Maybe I should. It will make the video a little bit longer. You probably won't do that. But you, just to see, this is a little more dirty than the other one. Let's see if, it's, if it goes off just as easy. So, vinegar. and lots of salt. Also, I want to say something, but you can see here it goes off. It, it's miraculously, it just changes it. It's crazy. Yeah, I want to say something. If you only use vinegar, it doesn't work. Vinegar will take away this copper oxide, that is the brown stuff that forms on the outside. But uh, it's non-solvable in uh, water, but that's why you need the salt. The salt go in and reacts somehow with this copper oxide and makes it solvable in water. And then it goes off. So you need both the salt and the vinegar, otherwise it doesn't work. Don't try to be smart and think you only need salt or only need uh, vinegar. No, you need both. I haven't looked up the exact chemical reaction, but... I'm okay with not knowing that. And here you can see it goes off pretty easy. And if it if it's not going off fast enough, then just give it a little more vinegar and some more salt. I have salt down there. And also here it sticks a little harder. So just work a little more on it. And of course, the more frequent you do this, the faster it goes off. And if you haven't, when I uh, <laughs> took myself to the task of cleaning these pots and pans from being absolutely brown all over, I actually spent an hour on each pot to get it clean. And now I only spent a few minutes. It definitely depends on how frequent you, you clean your copper pots and pans with this method. But I'm thrilled to have discovered this method. Of course, I did it. I discovered it through YouTube. YouTube is great. I learned so many things. And now I also learn things recordly fast with um, ChatGGP from OpenAI. It's so great. The time we live in is fantastic. Everybody, regardless of income, can have full access to all the world's information instantly. The only thing that limits you now is your own will to learn. And your own intelligence, of course, but that you can also improve simply by using your brain. Then it gets better and stronger. Okay, here down here there was something that required a little extra. But here the same thing, toothbrush to get into the tricky parts. This part here, I can, not even my toothbrush is great at, at getting to it. 
But I found out if I took a knife like this and took another one, a little bit thinner thing, uh, I have a little bit thinner here, also a steel thing, then I could kind of press it down and then get around anyway and get in here. As now I just did it. So that's how you do that. So okay, now this one is good. So now we did this part as well. Again, again, same treatment. Using a to kitchen towel here on the inside to remove water on the bottom where it's not copper on this part. There are other copper parts that are copper all around. That's not good. Copper is a weak material, so you will go through it. If it's copper all around in a copper pan, they're very expensive and they're not great. I'm telling you, they're not great. You, you need to have a construct like this. This is a Danish brand. It's Eva Trio. It's a great brand. They do it the right way. Um, where they put stainless steel on the top. But they have a copper sheet inside that conduct uh, heat. So there is this evenly distributed heat in, in the pan, which is why you use copper really in the first place. It's an enormously good thermal conductor. So I think you know everything there is to know about how to clean copper pans. Ah, uh, maybe I should tell you one more thing. My pans were really nasty, so they had some build up of some black coal stuff that had uh, built up on the stainless steel, and I actually used a screw screwdriver to crack that off. And also, of course, just this uh, steel sponge and a lot of scrubbing. Now we can compare. How do they look? This one not done. I'd say if I want this pot to look like this in an instant, then I just leave it on the gas stove and heat it up a lot. Then we'll change color to this. This is because I simply forgot about it and then 15 minutes on the gas and no water in it and no other food in it. And then it will become really hot, the pot, and then it, it turns to this color. It's not a bad color. I don't think I want to spend time cleaning it because I think we are done with this video. So now you know everything there is to know about cleaning copper pots. I hope you find it useful. Thank you very much and please uh, give it a like and also subscribe to my channel so we can grow to over 1000 and I can do live streaming where I cook some stuff and people can ask in and I can ask answer the questions. That would be fun. Okay, thank you very much. Goodbye.